guys 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 listen <laughs> first i want to say welcome to another episode of popcorn and pines presents sturdy reviews harry potter 4 and the god little fire i finally got it down people i finally got it so the poster's like right here i could see the title and all that good shit yeah he's sturdy happy holidays by the way it's you know feeling festive so i got all this stuff up but um yeah how's everybody doing hope you're all doing great phenomenal amazing all that good stuff anyway nt ways <laughs> nah um fuck what was i saying this movie here guys this again this th these movies really quick really quick watch the first four so far each movie gets better each movie gets better and i remember uh, my co-host stories from a bar chris aka crackers he was co-hosting this with me again and he told me since part so he watched part three and four i believe he watched since he's i believe he's been watching since part two honestly yeah two three four yeah um that part four is like one of his favorites that's his top three and yo part four was fucking dope like right from jump it's getting pretty dark right from jump doesn't take too long to get in you meet fucking uh well, make him pop up around here like around the goblet uh voldemort yeah have him pop up like right around here you, you get to see his ugly face and just <sighs> now i feel like this is like i feel from one through three were good really good and i feel like from what i saw from four and from what i'm hearing from from five and so on from five i'll say is i'm expecting like i said the first ones i'll say good to really good the first three and for part four i'll say really good i'm hoping it goes from really good to great so with part four i just oh my gosh what I loved about it is just like, I mean, I'm going to be jumping around. I'm going to be jumping around. And again, I'm giving you more of a feel of how I felt about the movies, not necessarily like giving a deep dive on the movies here and there. I will with some when I'm, you know, just picking when things pop in my mind, like, oh yeah, I remember that. But, um, anyway, like the battle with Harry and Voldemort, that one part, I loved it. I'm like, yeah, I see he's using his magic more. And it just, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. What, what, what's cool about these movies, what they're doing good about these movies is they're making like Harry Potter and I'll say Harry Potter and Hermione, especially right now. Oh, I can't think of his fucking name. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ron. He's kind of an asshole, but I feel like he has a good, he has a good heart. He knows, you know what I mean? He's just, he's, he's an emotional being. But they make them, I guess, that's why I say Harry and Hermione more so. They make them likable characters in a sense where you kind of root for them. Ron too, and Ron too, I'll put him in there, but not as high as those two. And it's like, yeah, I really like these two. I really like these two and or this team and so it's like you want them to win but i like how they're going through battles so it's not easy you know what i mean so it's not like just you know you just snap your finger so to speak i mean it's magic wizard shit you know and okay boom the, the creatures beat or you know the the evil's defeated and all this other it's like no it's a battle they're building they're learning like right now it's the fourth movie goblet of fire so they're in year four next one will be year five of course and I'm just like, okay, I, uh, again, like I said in the first three fucking episodes of this and the side things that I do, you know, the wand and all that shit, which I do got to drop another video for you guys, the animal thing, I forgot what it's called. I'll get that out for you guys soon though. Um, these are getting, they're just, they're just getting better every single freaking movie. And it's it's almost given me the Marvel feel. I know there's less movies, 
but I did, uh, I don't know, phase four, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it was. Phase one through four. I don't know what the fuck I did, but it was from Captain America to Endgame. So all those Marvel movies, again, I'm not like deep into it like that. I do enjoy them. I'm not deep into it like that, but I did all those over on Worth Same Gamer. This podcast, you guys go check that out. Dope podcast, by the way. But um, it's given me, as far as like the way these movies are building and connecting, and so far the first four being really good. Well, the first four being, the first three being good to really good, the fourth one being really good to possibly great. And I just, I can't wait to see more. Like this one really, each, that's another thing with these movies too, is each one makes me want, want to see the next one even more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, oh shit, I'm intrigued. I can't fucking wait. I can't fucking wait. And this is honestly one of those things to where, just from watching these four movies alone, I would not be, and I'm, I'm sure you guys have discussed this, you Harry Potter fans, you deep, true Harry Potter fan fanatics. I'm not going to act like I'm that because I'm not. I'll say I'm a fan. I can say I'm a fan now, but I'm not going to act like I'm a fanatic and all that. I'm not a diehard fan. I'll just say I'm a fan. I enjoy these. Um, but no, what I was getting at is a series. I'm sure you guys had these discussions, but just, I'm just, again, this is me watching them through the first time. Only on, I only watch the first four, but for me, I'm just saying a series of each, what is it? Each, uh, class, is it? I'm not sure. You guys know what I'm talking about, but each, I don't know, each house, each house. There you go. Each house. Um, yeah, I would love to see a series. Of, that'd be kind of cool to see a series of each house and like, and I'm sure you guys are going to say, well, just fucking read the books, but it'd be cool to see a series. It'd still be cool to see a series and like, say there's a, I don't know if they do it episodically, if they do it by the season or however they do it, but where you see like, you know, how the Ravenclaws grow up, how each of them grow up. I mean, and you can even do it kind of, but like deeper about the, each, each thing. You know what I mean? You're really getting the deep story about each thing, where they come from, all that other stuff, but you're getting it in. Because I don't know if you get it through the movies too, too much. Like, everything about it, you know what I mean? And I don't know how much you get from the books. I haven't read them. Maybe I will check out the audiobooks if they have them all in audio. As a matter of fact, if they do have my audiobooks, I'm more likely to check them out than going out and reading them. If I can find them on audiobooks. But, uh... Rant over. But no, but I'm, what I'm getting at, though, is these... <laughs> My wife told me the other day that the other one, I think part three came out 18 years ago to the day, or this one came out, eight, one of them came out 18 years ago to the day that she was discussing it. And I was, she was like, you're, you're 18 years late in watching it. And I thought about it or 16, however many years it was, 15, 16, I don't, whatever. That's not important. But I thought about it and I told her my age at the time. I was like, nah, I was like, I want to sit still and watch this. I was too busy, you know, bouncing around, having party and all that other shit. So I definitely went inside still and watch this. And going back to what I said in the other shows with the podcasting more and just kind of having more patience for movies, that I watch these movies at the right time. I'm glad I'm watching these. Um, again, my apologies for saying they suck because they don't. They really don't. They're not for everybody. I'll definitely say that. If you like this kind of fantasy stuff, wizardry, all that shit, check them out. Check them out if you've never seen them. You know what I mean? And they're fun, though. They're they're fun films. Um, they kind of make me want to see, like, a horror version of this. Like, a really dark, horror, gory version of it. But that's just my horror brain thinking of it. Um, I'm going to get this one. I'm going to wrap this one up, though. I'm pr pretty much done discussing this. Goblet of Fire was great, though. Definitely check it out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Make sure you guys... Friday, next Friday. This Friday, I should say, because that's when this video is going to be dropping. Unless it drops earlier. But anyway, Friday, the 30th, 8.30 Eastern Time, Harry Potter 5, and the Order of the Phoenix. Yes, 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 yes. 8.30 Eastern Time, watch party. Stream Lounge, HBO Max, pull up. It's going to be a good grand old time. Of course, I'm going to be reviewing it right after, but see how I feel about that in the future because I have no idea. And happy holidays again.
And if you haven't checked it out yet, go back and check out how I thought about part three, but you kind of got from here, but see what I rated it at the very least. See what I rated it, you know, see why Lilith is on my lap. And yeah, hopefully I see you guys there. Well, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? This isn't life. But let me give you what you're all been waiting for. My rating, which is a nine. This movie's easily a nine for me. Um, I don't want to give it a ten because I feel I do feel like it's gonna keep increasing, and I just want to see how much more these increase. But this this one right here, this one right here, yeah, this one I like. I almost want to give it a nine and a half just because I gave part three something but i'm also thinking hmm you know what i'm gonna stick with my nine for this one i'm gonna stick with my nine for this one but uh yeah thank you guys for watching please like share subscribe check out the podcast check out the network check out the sturdy reviews and again happy holidays to all of you from the Z Network, from Horror Research Sturdy, from Popcorn and Pints, the Sturdivant family, to your family. Happy holidays. I hope you all have an amazing time. If you're feeling down, I hope you feel better. I know it's tough. Easier said than done, but I just hope you all feel better. And yes, let's end this year strong and start 2023 even stronger. Peace. Thanks for popping by.